Yeah, this is Russ Cardo, reggae creator from Trenchtown, Jamaica. I'm going to show you know, this video here, yeah, where they talk about Zimbabweans, all right? And basically, I don't know the full extent of it, but we run across this on the internet. And we see we're in, it needs some justification and some clarification for anybody, black or white skin, from America, go over Africa, and I go on sarcastically, I berate and denigrate them. Especially in a them uprightness and development after so many years of struggles and sufferings. And if Zimbabweans are angry because of what this black American girl go over there, go say, in a them supermarket, like say them not supposed to have no nice looking, well stocked supermarket over there. Watch this. I want to know, watch this. So Tiffany Haddish recently was in Zimbabwe and she went to one of the grocery stores out there in Zimbabwe and there's some people that got kind of upset with Tiffany Haddish for this video. Let's go ahead, Roman. Hey, y'all. So I'm out here in Zimbabwe in Arhari and look at the grocery store they got a grocery store it's beautiful it's beautiful in a grocery store look at these organic strawberries this is what I love they sell sugar cane and it is fire they got that Dates on deck. How much are these? Sixty-seven dollars. Wait a minute. The price is different, but it do look like it's expensive. Look at this grocery store. It's huge. It's absolutely. This shows ignorance, you know. Here's a black woman, young black woman, who should have known the history of the suffering of the African people globally, and yet she go over there. No wonder the Zimbabweans are angry now. And some of them even take it out against Jamaicans and the reggae music. And Buju and all the brethren, them are trying to show them, say, we have always tried to sing and send the message of the sufferings of our African people globally. That's what reggae does and continue to do. But you see, Zimbabweans seem like, say, when people like them, you know, from America, black skinned as they are, go over there, go go on with them kind of show offness and swelledness like this. And they self are the bias, as them we call it in a psychology. Like, say, them, like, say, the Zimbabweans are the Africans, them shouldn't have what them have. No, after so many years of sufferings and death. Zimbabweans, remember Bob Marley come there in 1918 you know, at the invitation of Robert Mugabe when Zimbabwe was becoming independent. And we put a concert and Zimbabwe and the team will come out of Trenchtown Reggae man them, Rastafari man them. Pay them one way if you come over there. All right? And sing the freedom and the liberation of Zimbabweans. 1980 in Harare. All right? So when I see what's going on now is that Zimbabweans don't even know who fi take out them frustrations, pan? Because them a take it out against black African man them. And I try to do things that is against reggae and the messages of the prophecy of reggae music. And we from Jamaica have always sang the freedom of Africans all over the world. Check the lyrics and you will see. Our people have become martyrs in the music. Lots of them life 
because of what them sing for the freedom of all black people globally. So when I see a black American girl like this go over there and I show off them kind of stupid ways yeah, with her plastic smile, it don't even make sense, you know. She need to be really educated in the situation that have caused Africa and Africans much suffering and death over the years. Let's listen to the rest of this. Listen. Absolutely. Humongous in Africa, baby. Yeah. Believe it, believe it, believe it, believe it, Africa, Zimbabwe. Uh huh. Oh, baby, I'm not mad. Oh, I just like to mystify and shit. It don't smell bad. I'm gonna meet the party. Notice the way she portrays herself, you know. Just like a young idiot. Yeah, man. Like a foolish dog barking at a flying bird. Like she never expect Africa to develop after so many years of sufferings and death under colonial slaverism and all the isms and schisms and murderous ways in Babylon system. Yeah, man. Cause don't, if she didn't know the history and she go over there, she would have present herself in a different form. So I want to tell all Zimbabweans, all Zimbabweans and all Africans on the continent or wherever they might be, don't make people like do it, these people, yeah. This track, you know, and deceive, you know, and get under your know, skin. Because in a, in a short while, they will all stumble and fall. Yeah, man. It is a shame. As a black man, I self, a man will come from Trenchtown, Jamaica, out of the suffering. And we have to try to find ways to extricate ourselves out of the struggles. That when we come to a certain point in life, we share our history and whatever we were able to accomplish with the rest of the world. Even money is not involved. We do it out of the goodness of our heart as African people. Because as it is written in Malachi 2.10, have we not all one Father? Have not one God created us all? So why then should we now be acting so deceitfully and stupidly hating one another? Sister, you have a lot to learn, but wise up, wise up. Don't go to go denigrate the people them and spitting at them face. All right? Don't do that. Shameful, as we say in a Jamaica, you know, shameful dog named Dutty Puddin. You would know what that means, but I won't have the time to explain that to you. But carry that back to America with them racism and make it stay there. So, but don't, don't carry it over in Africa and inflame the Africans them that don't know no better. We from Jamaica teach them and share the history that them should have known. I am Rascardo Reggae Creator, Rastafari know.